I want my comic book, comic book, comic book, comic books. I want my comic book, comic book, comic book, comic books. Defects, new comic book day show. What is up, Defects? We are back. It is the new Comic Book Day show. For those of you that are new, this is where we take that new Comic Book Day pull list from Chris Nelms over at comicbookinvest.com. We take that list and, of course, we break it down Defect style. If you want to get a closer look at Chris's list, it's going to be a link in the description to his article. Awesome info. It's a little different than what we do. So definitely want to encourage you to check that out as well. And of course, check out the whole CBSI website. Before we get started, my man, the Butcher 105, hit him with those sponsors. First up, we got my man, Erod 212 Express Comic Book Pressing for all your pressing and cleaning needs. Defects 10 gets you 10% off. Not only that, Erod will pass along his discount from CGC and CBCS. Hit up Erod, Defects 10, 10% off. Next up, Mutant Beaver Comics. Who doesn't love a little beaver? One of the world's largest online exclusive mm. variant retailers shipping mm. worldwide. That's right, worldwide. Defects oh, wow. 10 gets you 10% off. Tell Pat and the B-Man that Defects sent you. There you go. All right, without further ado, let's get into some books. Defects, welcome to another installment of the new Comic Book Day show. And before we get started, you know, we got to throw Chris's list up there. We wouldn't be the Defects if we didn't do it. So here we go. Coming in hot, guys. After Shock Comics this week. After Dark number one. And I'm just letting you know, when it gets dark out, I go to sleep. Maddie likes to read horror books, so Matt. <laughs> yeah, uh, pretty cool covers there. Cover A, looking looking good. Cover oh, yeah, cover cool. uh, the one in ten incentive. I mean, I know Guy wants nothing to do with these. I know Jay can appreciate them, so I'll just I'll pretend like I'm talking to Jay on this one. All right, Guy Guy's gonna go and hide. I like the one in ten as well. So here's how they're billing this one. This is pretty cool. This is Tales from the Crypt meets the Twilight Zone. Uh, so four, okay. Perfect, like, scariest envi environment imaginable for Guy, right? Oh, yeah, four, four tales of horror, lost souls, and things that go bump in the night. So it's going to be a one-shot. It's a prestige format, okay? So for those of you that don't know what a pre prestige format is, the Butcher, you want to tell them? It's, it's a prestige format was originally coined by DC, and then everybody took that phrase over. Prestige format, it's usually a square-bound book with cardstock on both covers, usually anywhere from 48 to 64 pages and the quality of the paper is supposedly better. So you get prestige format on here and it's twilight zone meets tales from the crypt. It don't get much better than that. Well, it does get a little better because let me tell you about the four artists. It's going to be, I mean, the four authors, it's going to be Cullen Bunn, Jim Starlin, Joe Pruitt and Fran Thierry. Wow. Pretty good lineup. So this might be one you want to, if you're into horror, you know, and this is the right month for you right here. This is definitely a book you might want to check out. Guys, next up from Aftershock, they're keeping it rolling. Cross to Bear, number one. Jay, what do you got, buddy? We got that cover A, and we have that one in 15 incentive variant, guys. Cross to Bear from Aftershock Comics, written by Marco Stojanovic and illustrated by Sinsa Bonovic. The only person we're missing is Michael Vick. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> the Order, an organization of descendants of the Crusaders, sworn to eradicate the unnatural and hunt down one of the world's most notorious serial killers, Jack the Ripper himself. So listen, we got... The first two books, man, sound really interesting this week. So, Aftershock doing it. A little more horror. 
kind of like crime mystery going on here, but I'm feeling it. Well, it is October and we're coming into Halloween. So you know what? Why not follow it up from Boom Boom Studios, guys, with House of Slaughter number one. Highly anticipated book, guys. Um, not the first appearance of Jada Butcher, but Jace Butcher. So you got Discover the Inner Workings of the House of Slaughter in this new horror series, exploring the secret history of the order that forged Erica Slaughter into the monster hunter she is today. We had to get that word in there, right? Absolutely. Yeah. You guys, you got a one What's in ten. The, uh... what? Yeah. Good. Oh, yeah. You got yeah, a good. one in ten. That's all right. You got a one in ten second printing up there. That looks pretty crazy. I think they made a statue of that, too. Um, a one in ten bloody foil variant. And then you got a couple one in fifty, Matt. On the next one, you got one in fifty bueno. And then you got a one in one hundred frizzin cover. Whew. So I was a little sorry, I, I was delayed right there because I was yeah, trying to figure okay. out what what the, they're are they're already they're bring is this one of those times where they're bringing out the second printing on the same week, Jay? What's, they're what's bringing the out the second pit printing. Yep, that's exactly what it was. But I that one in one hundred frizzin variant, I am feeling that man. That that could be one to to grab if you get it at a good price, but and that one in fifty is like a um homage to last uh was it uh lake house or a lot the nice what house on the lake nice yeah. house on the I, lake. I was yeah. just thinking that too definitely a yep. homage to that we're writing yeah, that, homage, that second we're writing homaging like, like covers like that came out like hey, months ago tynan he's doing his thing bro wow well it can't be halloween without hellboy right guys the silver lantern club number one from dark horse comics maddie forge yeah, you Hellboy fanboys are going to be real happy about this because Mike Mignola and Chris Robinson expand the Hellboy universe with a new tale of strange and spiritual happenings. They're teaming up with uh, Ben Steinbeck and Chris Mitten and the colors are by Michelle Madsen. There you go. Um, Silver Lantern Club member Simon Brut Brutenholm retells a tale from the dawn of radio in which Sir Edward Gray and Sarah Jewel go toe-to-toe -to -toe with technology i don't know i don't really get the solicitation this could be interesting i'm not i never really read any of the hellboy comics so tell us in the comments if this has to do with some of the previous stories um but like i said hellboy fans are going to be happy because we got a new ongoing series here well i'll tell you what jay's going to be excited about aquaman and green arrow deep target number one jay hold up your hand Looks That's like he was target. looks like he was dealing with a deep target last night. Hey, why don't you tell us a little <laughs> bit about this book, <laughs> guys? From Brandon Thomas and Ronan Cricket, celebrating the 80th anniversary of Aquaman and Green Arrow. This high octane story takes this unlikely pair from the depths of Atlantis to the surface world. I can't believe it's been 80 years for these two. That cover A, I'm feeling the one in 25, not so much. Sounds like a Jean Claude Van Damme movie. I'm not Deep lie. Target sounds like an Eva Long movie. Wow, yeah. <laughs> I guess you it could, point. could say, yeah, it could go either way. It could go either way. Oh God, guys! This week coming in strong again. DC Detective Comics number ten forty four. You got Cover A over there, and you got that Bermejo variant. Looks like Batman's dealing with some shit. That the reptile Looks making like its way it. into the. Or is that Killer Croc? I don't know. I, don't know. I guess you got to read Romeo absolutely out. kills Batman covers. Yeah, he always. murders them. Absolutely. Always. Why not, guys? Batman the Long Halloween special number one from DC. 25 years ago, you thought you knew the whole story of Batman the Long Halloween. Now, legendary creators Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale return to Gotham City to reveal that no secret remains buried forever. Listen, cover A is just, I think, just cool because uh, it's got that like Halloween vibe to it. The one in 25, I mean, you guys can talk about it. I mean, Matt, Matt, Matty does have a saying on this channel <laughs> when we have covers like this. It's what nightmares are made of. I like the incentive. It's 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 simple, mm. but I kind of dig it. Yeah. All right. All yeah, right. Well, DC again. DC versus vampires. Why not bring vampires into the show, Matt? 
I feel like this is like the episode guy should have missed, right? Because it's just all <laughs> It's Halloween's horror. coming though. It, it yeah, is legit coming. almost all horror. So uh yeah, this is Halloween week. So we have uh James Tynan and Matthew Rosenberg right in here, and we got Otto Schmidt drawing this. This sounds pretty cool. Obviously, we'll run through the covers real quick. Cover A, okay, cardstock variant, fire. I love it. The Molina variant, eh, it's okay. Not not really feeling it so much, the one in 25. Here's what this is about. Special standalone 12 issue series. It's the Justice League against a secret army of vampires. And it sounds like some of our heroes are getting turned into vampires in this one. So kind of, it kind of gave me real quick uh, Marvel v zombie vibes a little bit, but instead you got vampires. Could be something for somebody. I don't know. Not for me, but. I'm just going to keep shaking my head as we go through these guys. Yeah, you are. <laughs> this week, this, again with DC, Task Force Z number one. Jay, you got a couple covers on this. That one in 25 more looks like they're ready to bring Frankenstein to, back to life, buddy. Yeah, you got that cover A. You got the one in 25 more variant, which I absolutely love. You got the one in 50 Hoats variant. And then I believe you have a, is it one in 100 on the next slide? Yes, it is. Sorry. Yeah. There you go. It's a one in 100, guys. I'm feeling that one in 25, but let's give you the breakdown from Matthew Rosenberg, one of my favorite Punisher writers, and Eddie Barrows. It's a first team appearance at Task Force Z. Who is that, you ask? It's Red Hood, Bane, Man Bat, Arkham Knight, and Mr. Bloom. Also, the first team appearance of the Resurrection Twins, who I believe are on that one in 25. So that might be the one to get first appearance, first cover. A mysterious benefactor is bringing together a new task force and has recruited the only person who could lead their team. Someone that knows what it's like to come back from the dead. Who is that? It's Red Hood himself. And he puts together a team of some of, of, some of Gotham's worst villains in Bane, Man Bat, Arkham Knight, and Mr. Bloom. So another book I'm excited for. I'm um, I'm hoping DC gets back on track with some of their stories they have been. Um, but Task Force Z, I'm a fan of Red Hood. I'm a fan of Bane. I'm excited to see what they do with this. And this also looks like almost like a horror rest type of book. So you're right, guy. Maybe you should walk away now. No, I don't know. I got to be honest. Those twins probably would have no trouble resurrecting me. No. <laughs> Zing. Guys, Image Comics this week, you got Spawn, number 323. You got Cover A over there with those wolves on it looking pretty tough. Spawn standing there saying, I'm in command, bitches. And then you got the Berenz variant, Violator, doing a little trick-or-treating with the kids, Jay. What do you think? I, I love the Berenz variant. You got, you know, Captain America, Batman, and Wonder Woman trick-or-treating with Violator. What do you think? Uh, paying respect or taking shots? Could be a little bit of both, maybe, right? But I dig it. I'm with you. Oh, that's a, that either, actually is a really nice cover. Either way. Yeah, either way. Tell us in the comments. <laughs> Guys, Marvel. There's finally some Marvel action in this segment. We got Black Widow. number, And we leave it to Black Widow, number 12. Um, you got the cover right over there, which is a pretty dope cover. Um, and then you got that Jusco. Um, a haunting figure from Natasha's past emerges. The only man she fears. I mean, so a possible first appearance in this one too, guys. What do you think? It's been a hot series. A couple good key first appearances. Some of these books have been kind of valuable. So you might not want to sleep if it's there on a the shelf. Grab it. I'm just excited about this. And I'll talk about it in a second. But Marvel this week, guys. Number 35, Daredevil. Okay. Cover A, pretty cool. That Jusco is fucking awesome. Okay? Love me some Kingpin. Are we coming to the end of the run here for Chip, uh, Jay? Yeah, Devil's Reign starts up in December, so I don't know how much we have. I, I, I thought this was going to be the final issue, but I guess not. We got the Battle of the Bullseyes going on in New York City. Um, I'm with you, guy. That Jusco Marvel Masterpiece cover is absolutely insane. Yep. I've been all over the series and super excited to, for the next step in Devil's Reign. So let's get it going, Chip. 
Guys, from Marvel this week, you got Darkhold Blade number one. Now, you know the de defects have been on the Darkhold since Jump Street, right? Now, Blade got his hands on it and sat down for some late night reading. You know shit's going to go down when the Blade reads the Darkhold, right? So if you're into this, if you like Blade, if you want to know what's going to go on, vampires take over the world, Blade's in charge. I mean, come on. And you got Blade versus Cathan in this issue, which... Hello. Maddie Forge is going to be all over it. Yahtzee. Come on now. These Darkhold books, I think they're all a grab. And when... I'm assuming this is going to lead up to like an ongoing series. Tied right in about the time that Doctor Strange and the Multiverse of Madness comes out. Just saying. Could be a reason. Hmm. Hmm. Guys, from Marvel, we got Moon Knight number four. Matty Forge has been on this since the beginning. You got Cover Ray over there, and you got that Del Otto, which is pretty dope. Absolutely. Absolutely. This has been good. Good. Really good series. I'm going to take a second here, boys, and talk to the defects for a minute, guy. Sure. I mean, we always talk to the defects. We say thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by, hanging out with us, talking about in the new comic books coming out this week. If you like what we're doing, tell them, Jay. Hit the thumbs up. Maddie points down. Hit that thumbs up. It's, like, it's over. It's, over it's there down somewhere. there, but you got to do this. <laughs> got to go like this. Yeah. Uh, we thank you for coming. Uh, leave a comment in the comment section. We love hearing from you. We love talking to you. Sometimes this is our only way to talk to each other. Just leave a comment. We chat back. And you know what? Share the video. Sharing is what, guys? Well, fucking caring. So. That's it. Get, let's get back to the books. Let me just explain something, guys. From Marvel this week, you got Spider-Woman number 16. And I'll tell you this much. If I looked out my window and saw this girl hanging there, <laughs> that's all I got to say. Could be a first appearance in this one. That's all I got. I mean, I'm just looking at cover A and saying thank you. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna let you look, and I'm gonna tell Rebecca Marshan suits up for the first time. We just don't know his who or what, whatever his superhero moniker is gonna be, or if she's even gonna have one. So, could be a first appearance of superhero here. So, Rebecca. Well, Star Wars: War of the Bounty Hunters is coming at you. This is IG eighty eight, number one from Marvel this week, guys. And Maddie Forge <laughs> loves him some Star Wars. Here we go. Um, another one shot. This is going to be the fourth in the four kind of, uh, what is it? Four action pack war of the bounty hunter tie-ins that they're trying to do about, you know, all the different bounty hunters. Um, so this is it. This is the end. We got IG-88 against an old familiar foe. And you can see that on the 1 in 25 height variant. You got Boba Fett back there trying to gun him down. So this, uh, I guess, if you've been into all these bounty hunters and the tie-ins, you know, you got to complete the run. This is the last one, so grab it. My and money is on both. And you got a first appearance, too? Y you do. A first appearance of RB919. I don't know if that's going to be somebody that's going to try to help IG-88 or go against them. So we're going to find out. Beep, beep, bop, boop. That looks like oh, Bender. God. That guy looks like Bender. <laughs> Bender who? God. Bender from that show. Bender that's over. Like Bender over. No, that's Bender no. Over. His name is his name is Be Ben Dover. Oh God! Right. I think anyway. the first one was better. Bender <laughs> over. Star Wars guys this week. Darth Vader number seventeen from Marvel. Uh, you got Cover A over there, and you got Sprouse Lucasfilm fiftieth anniversary variant. Um, is that like? I'm, I know I'm going to get in trouble from Star Wars people. Is, Don't I mean, do it. Is that two Darth Mauls? I mean, or is that, that like is one? That is Darth Maul and, and Savage Darth... Opress. And I'll tell who, you that. Who? He's a male. Who's a, who's a guy, not a female. <laughs> Explain, please. We learned that. I mean, it's 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 a it's a spec. Uh, it was it was in a video with TiVo. You know, we ah. uh, he gave a first appearance and he referred to as a woman and we got killed in the comments. But we thank you for correcting us. We do like... Listen, we're the defects. We make mistakes. You got to let us know when we do, and we appreciate you. So, well, there goes that Sprouse. There goes the two Darth Mauls. There you go. Yeah. No, now they're going to kill a guy. That Sprouse <laughs> cover is awesome. That's an homage cover, right? Right, Jay? Is it? I don't know. I. You know what? I I'm a cover A guy. I think the cover A is fire, dude. Yeah. I, like I mean, they're both lot. awesome, right? You know what would have been cool? I don't know if I can see it or not, or if you can get closer to it. If there's a reflection in, in the eyes of Darth Vader, that would be pretty dope. 
Ooh, looks like there's something there. Yeah, we might have to check that yeah. out. Let us know if you guys are picking that up. Um, <laughs> and this guy's little uh, little throwback to SNL and say, I'll take S words for 300, Alex. <laughs> From Marvel, Jay, Jay has no idea what I'm talking about. And I love no. it. From Marvel this week, you got Sword number nine. You get the first team appearance of New Lethal Legion. Um, and I'll tell you this much: you put Storm on a cover. Is that another Juice Go? This is another Juice Go. Killing it. He's absolutely killing it. It's just bringing me back to when I had those cards in my hands, and I just, as a kid, and used to look at those things. I'm gonna go pull them out of the back somewhere. You're just gonna go find your 17 Storms that you have. I do have. A, I have a bunch of them. Yeah. Man, guys, this week um, from Marvel, you got Wolverine number 17. And I do, let me tell you, the Juice Go, I have that card. I think everybody had that card at one point in time. That was such a sick one, man. But you know what? That 1 in 25 Daniel's not that bad either. I'm a fan of the 1 in 25. The old Wolvie brown and yellow suit all over that one. Oh, yeah. But Juice Go, he's he's the MVP this week. I'm not going to lie. He's killed everything. Round it out, baby. Yeah, why not? I'm going to leave this one to Jay, though. Provenance of Secrets, number one from Scout Comics. I mean, I don't know. Jay, what do you got? More horror-esque from Scout, from Tyr- from Tyrion, Tegan, and Christian Davari. Set in the same world as the King in Yellow, a detective follows a strange lead following a brutal murder in a genre mashup of 50s crime noir and cosmic horror. So we got something a little old school here. It's I'm not really sure the King in Yellow storyline. Story I'm not sure if that was in the past. Guys, do you know if you know in the comments? Let us know. But listen, it's Halloween time. Like we said so many times tonight. And I'm reading all these Halloween books this week. So I will let you guys know how it is. Time for Chris Nelms' pick of the week. And this week, he's got, from DC, Wonder Woman, Black and Gold, number five, that one in 25, Rose, Besh, Incentive variant. Here's what he has to say. Bess's first major cover, Spider-Woman 9, is still a hot book running around $200. Since then, she has a few more incentives that go for double and a few cover price variants that are still cover price. This Wonder Woman incentive is selling at four times ratio right now because of Wonder Woman Day being around the corner, and it's a good cover that should appeal to more than just the sexy cover crowd. Awesome pick, awesome insight by Chris Nelms here, one you might want to look out for. All right, Defects, that wraps up the new Comic Book Day show, but before you go anywhere, you know we got to talk about one or two things, so stay tuned because guess what? The CBSI train on YouTube rolls on on Tuesday nights, 10 p.m. Eastern, on Keep It Thorough Comics. He's got the CBSI Indie Spotlight Show. Dope. Link in the description. Check it out. Also, you guys want to stick around for the Thursday video because we guess what? It's the return of Cold Keys. We are excited. Stay tuned. This is a banger. And of course, we got the Wednesday night live show this week, so stay tuned as well. I think that about wraps it up. And that's a Halloween special, isn't it? it Halloween, is a Halloween special. special. I think Jusco probably wants to take us out, guy. What do you think? In Jusco, we trust. Later, defects. <laughs>